guys, Willie here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the all-new 2025 Genesis GV70 3.5 liter twin turbo sport advance. And a big thanks to Genesis of Clearwater for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below and if you're looking for a new premium car or SUV in the Clearwater area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And for those of you guys who don't know, the GV70 has been Genesis compact luxury crossover SUV since 2021. Due for a pretty heavy refresh for 2026, similar to the 2025 GV80 we just reviewed in this channel. And for 2025, all models now include wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as three new paint colors. There are seven trims available for the 2025 GV70, ranging from the $45,000 2.5T base up to the $68,000 Sport Prestige. Here we have the Sport Advance, with the base price closer to $64,000. What else we get for that money? Let's jump right in. So up front, bold and aggressive styling, four-piece LEDs for the high and low beam, LED daytime running light as well. Panel housing our advanced safety features, forward-facing camera, full front parking sensing, and a beautiful white metallic paint color. Hopefully you can pick it up on camera. Genesis logo up front, and a nice smoked bronze theme for the grill area with functional airflow in both corners. Radiator up top, intercooler down below. The wheel and tire setup with the Sport Advance package, we get these beefy 21 inch rims. They're gunmetal gray five spokes wrapped in Michelin Primacy Tour all season tires. And dimensions being 255-40 R21 up front. We'll see if they offset out rear. They did not offset on the GV80 we just reviewed. Four piston Brembo style Genesis brake caliper too. All body color trim for the wheel well area, subtle splash guard up front, little black trim running for the rocker panel side skirt area, two-tone mirrors, smoked chrome trim for the window trim, and solid tints. Hopefully you can pick up the panoramic moonroof on top, two-tone mirrors, LED turn signal on it with a camera helping us out, not only with the 360, but also with the blind spot cameras you'll see once you take this car out for a drive. We get blind spot monitoring on the glass smart access for the driver and a front passenger, blacked out roof rails, the gas cap is pushed to open, premium fuel recommended, no easy fill. Out rear, full LED taillights, turn signals, and the reverse lights down below. Side sensor to help us out with that 360. Genesis logo in the center. Full rear parking sensing, dual exhaust tips, four-wheel drive, 3.5T in the corner. The button to open up the trunk is on the rear wiper. LED third brake light. Shout out Fitzgerald Auto Mall or Genesis of Clearwater for helping make this review possible. But speaking of those dual exhaust tips, let's fire up this 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 and hear how she sounds. All right, guys, that was the sound of the twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 sold by Genesis for the 2025 GV70. And it sounds pretty good, cranking out 375 horsepower, 391 pound-feet of torque, made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. You can expect zero to 60 in the high fours to low five-second range, making it a no-joke performer. The strut tower braces will help the handling out tremendously. I appreciate the hydraulic struts, but what you see is basically what we get. We can shut this hood right down, take a step back, walk around this beautiful 2025 Genesis GV70 Sport Advance one more time. Let's take a step inside and see what we get with a near top of the line 2025 GV70 3.5T Sport Advanced All Wheel Drive. 58.3 for the base price for a 3.5 turbo GV70, adding 6,400 bucks to the Sport Advance package. You guys can see everything that that includes. The white paint color is 650, 50 bucks for the cargo net, 160 for the cargo tray, 200 bucks for the cargo cover, 45 bucks for the first aid kit, 220 for the all season fitted liners, 150 for the mug guards, 1350 for the inland freight and handling charge, totaling us out at 67,525, 20 combined MPGs, 18 in the city. 24 on the highway. Materials up top, we get soft leather stitching. I like the contrast in the leather trim too. We get Napa leather with a sport advanced package, aluminum door handle, two Lexic or three Lexicon speakers on the door panel, power folding mirrors, four way adjustable, four window auto one touch, and nice soft materials all throughout the armrest. Soft touch even for the bottom portion. You'll easily fit a foot long, maybe stack two on top of each other with a 24 ounce bottle right in front of it. 
Genesis aluminum nameplate as you step inside. The seats are also Napa leather, really comfortable, perforated, diamond quilted, heated and ventilated with adjustable bolsters and adjustable thigh support. Fully adjustable though, as you mentioned, four-way lumbar massage function. You can recline, drop, lift and slide with the adjustable bolsters and thigh support, as you mentioned. Taking a step inside, we also get the aluminum Genesis nameplate. From the brake, engine start stop, which is crystal and everything fires right to life. So as we mentioned, for 2026, next model year, the GV70 is gonna get its facelift, which will include the 27 inch integrated digital gauge display. In the meantime, we're gonna have to settle with the smaller 14.5 inch screen that you see here and a smaller LCD layout in the center of these two analog gauges. Regardless, the steering wheel is thick, solid 10 and two bolstering, nine and three has perforated leather and it's soft, very comfortable area to rest your hand. Aluminum frame, stitched horn area. The horn, loud and aggressive. People should be definitely getting out of your way. We get active sound cancellation and dual pane windows, making this one of the quietest interiors out on the road today, especially considering the price point. The turn signal stocks have a very satisfying click, and we get the blind spot camera view, as you guys can see. Auto headlamps, auto high beams, and auto rain sensing wipers, all appreciated features. Volume and skip controls, voice commands, AM, FM, series, favorites, hang up and answer your phone calls. On the right side, lane keep assist, radar cruise control, and the adjustments for the infotainment. Speaking of the adjustments, right now we're looking at our advanced safety features screen, compass, tire pressure, you see power distribution screen, boost gauge, oil temperature, drive info, accumulated info, attention level, tire pressure, engine temperature, and a power distribution. And here, my personal favorite screen, you get the oil temp torque and turbo gauge. 160 mile an hour speedometer, fuel level beneath it on the right side of the tack will shift us around 6,000 RPM. Mileage to the left of it with the fuel level all the way to the left with the temperature outside up top. To the left of the steering wheel, we get a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. You turn off the traction control, hill descent control, brightness, interior brightness, you can turn up or down, auto engine start stop will disable, electronic parking brake, you can open or close your trunk fuse box and hopefully you get a good look at the aluminum outline pedals. We get soft touch all throughout the center of this dashboard and stitching up top. No heads up display, we gotta go to the Sport Prestige to get the heads up display. And the 14.5 inch touchscreen, it is a touchscreen as you guys can see, but it's a little bit far away. So I appreciate Genesis giving us this crystal dial so we can adjust everything with that really high resolution with excellent overall response. You can press this home button and access the home screen. See the map, nav menu, radio, media, HD radio, phone, connected services, projection, and everything else. You guys can pause, take a look. Cool. Genesis Pay. Interesting. You can link your credit card with your car. And this is our home calm screen. My personal favorite, just leave it in the map. So I'll do exactly that. Beneath that, we get air vents, more stitching, crystal engine start stop dial, dual zone automatic front climate control with heated and ventilated seats. I'll actually turn on these ventilated seats to their least aggressive setting and they work really, really well for both of the front seats. Shortcuts too, you have the map, nav, hazards, favorites, radio, media, and setup all with hard buttons with the climate control adjusted all throughout. Hard dials for the temperature adjustments, but the vent controls are adjusted through touch sensors. Drive mode select, we get snow, eco, comfort, sport, and sport plus. With custom mode, we'll start the review off in comfort. Try out Sport Plus and try out Eco Mode and just see what the differences are. You can turn off or on your parking sensors and you can access your parking camera at all times. This is our backup camera with a 360 allowing us to keep our map as well at all times. Different views, you have an over the top view and a blind spot view. With a 360 view, you can see everything around your 2025 GV70 for one reason or another. Overall settings, you guys can see what you can adjust and the home screen with a click of a button. One thing I wanna show you guys, when you're in reverse, yes, we go right back to the previous screen that we just saw, we're not gonna go into that, but the mirrors, both of the mirrors go down to give you a great view of both of your wheels, and check this out, as soon as you press the park button, the mirrors both change immediately back to where they were. We have auto hold for the electronic parking brake, a gushy soft armrest, some plastic trim that you would get wood for for the prestige models, but still a nice looking material, some rubberized texture for where your knee will often hit. The glove box or the center console is decently spacious. We get two tiers with we'll business cards, coins in this top tier, which is lined and felt. Everything's lined and felt. And you'll fit probably 10 
16 ounce bottles in there with an additional 12 volt cool usb a ports you get two of them in a wireless phone charging pad with some leatherette trim outlining it digital key from genesis two cup holders you'll fit 24 ounce bottles some stitching above the glove box the glove box is soft touch lined in felt and it's large you're fitting 25 license plates easily fit in two pairs of shoes frameless auto dimming rear view mirror with three garage home link settings on it sunglass holder the interior lights back here are led and we get a massive panoramic moonroof with a suede alcantara headliner that we get on the sport advanced package the moonroof opens up decently quickly We'll see if it goes out any further. It does not, but to the end of the front row, we can poke our way out of here. Beautiful day today in Clearwater, Florida, but it's hot, sunny, and 96 degrees. So we'll get this roof closed so my phone doesn't overheat. It has overheated twice so far throughout this review. We'll leave the shade open. So when we hop out back, you guys can see how much light is brought into the cab. But that's about it for the front seat, at least, of this 2025 Genesis GV70. So let's hop out back see how much space is offered back there before we do that yes we do get dual pane windows i believe i did already mention that but i guess it doesn't hurt to mention it again out back up top we get soft touch materials no sun shades like we had on the gv80 we reviewed two-tone color contrast aluminum door handle two lexicon speakers on the door panel auto one touch out rear lock and unlock everything's aluminum too feels really high quality hard plastic for the grab handle soft touch materials even for the bottom part for the back seat you'll stack two six inch subs on top of each other mentioned the Lexicon speaker, Genesis aluminum nameplate, the rear seats are still that diamond quilted perforated Napa leather. They're not heated or ventilated like they were on the GV80 Sport Prestige reviewed in this channel, but they are adjustable, at least for the reclined function. Taking a step inside, I'm a little bit over six feet tall, sitting behind my seat settings, and I still have about four or five inches of knee room, headroom. This cargo box for the tunnel cover is kind of getting in the way, but headroom, even with the moonroof, I still have about two inches of it. So if you're under six foot five, I'd say you'd sit comfortably in the back of a GV70 with no problem. If you're taller than that, you'll want to sit behind the passenger and check this out. If you're sitting behind the passenger, you can scoot them forward and make it nice and as comfortable as you'd like. You can't do that to the driver, which is probably a pretty decent safety feature. But you can also adjust the recline of the passenger seat. Air vents, no third zone climate, unfortunately. We have a AC outlet, it's 115 volt, 150 watt, and two USB-A ports with a solid storage compartment. We get cargo nets behind both of the front seats. You can pull this latch and access the armrest. It's decently soft leather. You'll fit two 16, maybe 24 ounce bottles in there. We mentioned the Alcantara headliner. The interior lights back here are LED. We get hooks for both of the grab handles in the back seat. That's about it though, guys, for the back seat. Ton of light brought into the cabin thanks to this massive panoramic moonroof. But as you see, it is tinted really, really darkly. It's almost a reflective material. It's so darkly tinted. That's about it though, guys, for the second row. Let's hop out into the cargo space. See how much space is offered back there as well as the overall quality of the material. So the button opening of the trunk, it's attached to the wiper. And as you see, we got so much crap back here. It's gonna be pretty tough to really see how much space is offered. But I'll leave a link right here to show you exactly how much space is offered back here. It is a solid amount of space and the way the Genesis does their wheel wells, I would expect you to fit at least a 70, maybe 75, could be 80 inch TV back here because it is large. You fold the rear seats down 60, 40 split to do so additional lexicon speakers and the latches to fold the seats down in each corner secret storage we'll see what we have going on under here nice amount and you have your safety stuff underneath that second panel which i'm not going to be able to access with all the boxes over it anyway there are two buttons to drop the lift gate this button to the left drops the lift gate this button to the right drops it and locks the suv we don't need a lock so we'll press the button to the left and as you see it gives you a second or two to get out of the way so if you got grocery bags in your hands you don't have to worry about getting duped in the head by your trunk that's about it though guys for the inside and outside of the all new 2025 genesis gv70 sport advanced with a 3.5 liter twin turbo v6 it is getting up there in price at around the 65 to 67 thousand dollar price point but you have almost 400 horsepower a top-notch premium interior booming audio system and the looks to go along with it but performance wise let's take this 2025 gv70 sport advanced out for a drive and see what it's got all right guys now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the all new 2025 genesis gv70 sport advanced with a 3.5 
liter twin turbo v6 let's take it out for a drive and see what it's got so in comfort mode we're going to start off in comfort mode the ride quality is unbelievably good in this suv we'll see how it changes up when we go into sport steering is silky smooth but well weighted even in comfort mode we'll see how that changes up in the sport modes as well throttle response seems good we haven't really stepped on it yet on the dirt road and the isolation from a noise perspective seems really really quiet we can take a step out here give that guy a little bit of space lean into it about a third of the way in comfort oh that's a good torque <laughs> definitely gets up and goes well taking a step out here we can lean into it about halfway Ooh. yeah that thing gets up and goes really quick the advanced safety features kick in when you're about a football field away from the car in front of you and you run over the bumps in comfort mode it's so ridiculously quiet in here Genesis, when it comes to sound isolation, I don't know if it's their insulation, active noise cancellation, what they do, but they make some of the quietest interiors that I've ever heard. Turning radius, this is a tight, tight turning radius. Let's try it out in Sport Plus. Try one out off the line and see what this thing's got. But Sport Plus, give that HRV a little bit of space. Sport Plus, off the line, on the gas. Boost. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a really, really strong acceleration. I think there's an officer coming my way. It is not. Driving around in sport mode, what I notice is a more sensitive throttle and a really well-weighted steering rack. It gets a lot better weighted. Body roll, I'm obviously not going very quickly in a neighborhood, but body roll feels limited. Nice athletic feeling, quick, luxurious SUV. Which, yes, it is getting up there in price, but compared to the competition, you're getting more features and saving multiple thousands of dollars. Would I like to save a little bit more with the Genesis? Yes, but can't expect to have all the bells and whistles if you also expect to get the bargain brand. But taking a step out here, lean into it about halfway. Sport mode is more sensitive, noticeably more sensitive. Real world turning radius right up here should be a good opportunity to do so. Real world turning radius is very sharp. Wow, really sharp. Try one out off the line. Sport mode off the line on the gas. Sport plus. Oh. Yeah, that thing rips. Good quick gear shifts too and you don't even remotely, listen, let me know if you hear this. You don't even hear the cars driving by you. We're going reasonably quickly. You hear a slight snarl with this twin turbo V6 and it's a nice snarl, it sounds good. Snappy paddles. Guys, I'm impressed. Taking a step out here. We'll start off in first gear. First gear, I only guess. Oh. It is seriously, seriously quick, but we can turn around, head back to Genesis of Clearwater. Whew. This is an impressive car. We'll take it out of the manual shift modes and we'll try it out finally in its eco mode. Real world turning radius we'll test out as soon as this Ultima passes. Took it out of the manual shift, steering gets way lighter in eco, throttle gets way less sensitive. This is about half throttle, going to a little less than 4,000 RPM, which still feels seriously strong, but it doesn't use more revs than you necessarily need to to get to the speed that you're looking to get to. That's where you're gonna get your 2021 combined MPGs in eco mode, because it's gonna numb your throttle down. But for daily driving, I think I would leave it in comfort mode. It gives you that good balance between sensitive throttle comfortable experience driving for daily driving while still feeling reasonably exhilarating with this 375 horsepower 391 pound foot of torque twin turbo v6 it is a really impressive power plant they built this suv very well the fit and finish is seriously impressive lord knows how it's going to be when it comes to long-term reliability but with a 100,000 mile powertrain warranty 
best warranty in the business, seriously top level luxury for a compact luxury SUV. If that's what you're looking for while getting top level performance, zero to 60 in under five seconds, I would 100% recommend checking out the 2025 Genesis GV70 and I'll check it out with a three and a half liter twin turbo and I'll check it out with the Sport Advance. The Prestige, you get a little bit more, but you save a few thousand bucks with the Advance while still getting heated ventilated seats, upgraded audio system, Napa leather seating surfaces, all the bells and whistles, just about all the bells and whistles. I'd recommend going Sport Advance, but either way, I would definitely recommend checking one of these out, especially before the facelift. You could probably get a serious deal on one of these. And a big thanks to Genesis of Clearwater for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to their inventory below. And if you're looking for a new premium car or SUV in the Clearwater area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And a huge thanks to all of you for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know the channel is just not possible without you. And I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like, leave a comment, let me know if there's any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you want to see reviewed on this channel, and I'll definitely try getting those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day.